It's been almost 15 years since Belfast Area High School has had cheerleaders on the sidelines for sporting events, but during this year's basketball season, more voices now fill the gym. We've had this idea before, actually, like years past. Um, it never really came to anything, but we started talking this year, and we're like, what if we actually like made this happen, and how would we do that? So we went to our athletic director, who told us that we would need to make a letter and then present it in front of the school board. Um, and then it was a matter of time where they would approve it, and then we could get things underway and start looking for a coach. The program itself has taken on a personal meaning for both of the founders, who are also the captains of the team. Ever since I was younger, I haven't been able to fit into real sports that they've offered, like at high school or middle school or elementary. And I've always wanted cheerleading because it's kind of that thing that everybody can be a part of it, and there's no, like person out or uncomfortableness. Belfast is kind of like becoming more involved because I know that this program has been able to offer a lot of students that don't usually participate in the sports that we offer here um, a chance to kind of, as Judd said at our meeting, come out of their shell. And I think that's really good and that means a lot to me that we've given these kids a chance to do something. The extra voices have already made waves among the Belfast community. I think it's a kind of glue that we haven't had for a while. Um, you know, I teach gymnastics at Kids Unplugged. And so what's been really fun is like my daughter and like her friends, they've been watching the cheerleaders. And now they're like, oh my God, they're like, I want to be a cheerleader. So, so there's a whole new now generation of excitement around that. And so I'm like, I think it's going to I think it's going to be a really um, great way to kind of start that program back up and just give kids like another option. The program will have to continue for a few more years before it can be recognized as a varsity sport and compete for championships, but the groundwork has already been laid.